Hello and welcome to my home tuition's YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss vector, including magnitudes of vector, unit vector, and vector in Chartesian's plane. I will also discuss solving some vector problems by using the Casual FX 570EX class with calculator. This video is sponsored by Casual Malaysia. In a Chartesian plane, a vector can be represented in terms of its component along the x-axis and y-axis. The i and j notation are used to represent the x component and y component of the vector respectively. For example, consider the vector v with its tail at the origin and its head at the point 4, 6 in the Chartesian plane. To represent this vector using i and j notation, we first find the components of the vector along the x-axis and y-axis. The x component is the horizontal distance from the origin to the point 40, which is 4. The y component is the vertical distance from the origin to the point 06, which is 6. Therefore, the vector v can be written as v equal to 4i plus 6j, where i and j represent unit vectors along the x-axis and y-axis respectively. This can also be written in column vector, which is equal to bracket, 4, 6. This is how we represent a vector in a Chartesian plane. Magnitude of vector. The magnitude of a vector is the size or length of the vector and is a scalar quantity. It is often denoted by modulus v, where v is the vector. In vector diagram, the magnitude is equal to the length of the line representing the vector. To find the magnitude of a vector, we use the Pythagorean theorem. If a vector is represented by xy, then the magnitude of the vector is given by square root of x squared plus y squared. For example, consider the vector v equal to 3, 4. To find the magnitude of this vector, we use the Pythagorean theorem, modulus v equal to square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared, which is equal to 5. So the magnitude of this vector is 5. The magnitude of vector is an important quantity as it gives us information about the size or intensities of the vector. In casual scientific calculator, we may find the magnitude of a vector by using the rectangular coordinates to polar coordinates conversions. I'm not going to discuss about rectangular coordinates and polar coordinates in this video. You may search for it in Google or YouTube. Let's back to our discussion. In the calculator, this conversion is denoted by the symbol POL with an open bracket. The POL functions allows you to convert rectangular coordinates x, y to polar coordinates r, theta. For example, let's say we have a point and the coordinate of this point in rectangular coordinate system is x1, y1. In polar coordinate, the coordinate of this point will be r1, theta1. This is another way to indicate the location of this very same point. The r is the distance from the origin to the point and theta is the angle between the positive x-axis and the line connecting the origin and the point. To perform the conversion to polar coordinate, we just need to input the coordinate of the rectangular coordinate into the bracket and then press equal buttons in the calculator. Now let's see how this can be practically done in the calculator. Let's say we have a coordinate 8, 6 in the rectangular coordinate system and we would like to convert this to the polar coordinate system. So in our calculators, we use shift pol and then we key in the values of this rectangular coordinate which is 8 and then shift comma 6 and close bracket and press equal yes now the calculator shows that uh, for the polar coordinate our r is equal to 10 and the theta equal to 36.9 10 36.9 degree that's how we convert a rectangular coordinate to a polar coordinate by using the calculator. Now let's see how the rectangular to polar conversion can be used to find the magnitude of a vector. Let's say we have a point on this Chartesian coordinate system and 
we have a vector from the origin to this point. If the point is h6, then the vector must also be v equal to h6. Let's use the POL function in the calculator to convert this to polar coordinate. So in our calculators, we use shift polar and then we key in the x and y values of the vector, which is 8 and then comma 6 close bracket. So equal. Just now we learned that after the conversion, the calculator will show us the polar coordinate and the r in the polar coordinate is equal to the distance between the origin to this point, which is also equal to the length of the vector. And we know that the length of the vector is equal to the magnitude of the vector. So therefore, this r equal to 10 is also the magnitude of the vector. That's how we use the rectangular coordinate conversions to polar coordinates to find the magnitude of a vector. We convert the rectangular coordinate to the polar coordinate and the r in the polar coordinate is equal to the magnitude of the vector. Now let's see this question. This is past exam questions 2017, paper one, question three. Diagram three, so this is diagram three, shows vector A, B, A, C, and A, D drawn on a square grid with sides one unit. So we have three vectors A, B, A, C, and A, D here. Uh, question A, find the magnitudes of negative B, A. Okay, so uh, negative B, A is equal to A, B. Okay, and from this diagram, we find that A, B is equal to negative 3i and then minus 4j negative 3i minus 4j the magnitude of negative ba is equal to the magnitude of ab which is equal to square root of negative 3 square plus negative 4 square uh, this is equal to 5 unit. Okay, let's use the calculators to check our answer. Now, just now we learned that we can use the POL functions, shift POL, to find the magnitude of a vector. So the vector is negative 3i minus 4j, so therefore we key in negative 3 and then comma negative 4 close bracket equal so here it shows that our r is equal to 5 and just now we learned that this r actually is the magnitude of the vector so therefore our answer is correct now let's move on to question b question b they uh, is given that a b equals to b and then a c equal to c express uh, in terms of b and c for b c okay b c is equal to ba plus ac okay and then the ba is equal to negative ab plus ac and uh, we know that ab is equal to b okay so it's equals to negative b and then plus ac ac equal to c so this is the answer Let's continue with question two. Uh, question two, we are asked to find AD. So question two, AD. AD, AD equal to uh, AB. The reason that I use AB is because AB is given. Okay, so it's equal to AB plus BD. BD. Now let's see what is BD because BD is not given in the questions. So we need to check the diagram to see what's BD. Okay, from the diagram, we can see that BD is from B to D. So uh, BD, okay, so this is BC and then BD, okay. And from here, we can see that BD actually is equals to BC plus CD, BC plus CD. And we can also see that CD actually is equal to BC. So AD equal to AB plus BD and BD is equal to BC plus CD. 
and CD is equal to BC. So therefore, we write AB plus 2BC. Yep, 2BC. Yep. Now, okay, BC equal to negative B plus C. Yeah? So this is equal to AB. AB equal to B. Yeah? So equals to B plus 2 times uh, BC equal to negative B plus C. So negative B plus C. Yeah? So this is equals to B minus 2B and then plus 2C. So therefore, uh, our AD equal to negative B plus 2C. Okay, so this is the answer for AD. Unit vector. A unit vector is a vector that has a magnitude of 1. In other words, a unit vector is a vector of length 1. It is often used in mathematics and physics to simplify calculations and express directions. To find the unit vector of a given vector, we need to divide the vector by its magnitude. For example, if you have a vector v equal to 12i plus 5j, the magnitude of this vector is equal to the length of the vector line, which is equal to square root of 12 square plus 5 square, which is equal to 13. To find the unit vector of v, you should divide v by its magnitude. Unit vector equal to 12i plus 5j divided by 13, which is equal to 12 over 13i plus 5 over 13j. This is how unit vector is determined. Now let's see this question. This is past exam questions 2010, paper 1, question 15. Diagram 15 shows the vector OR. So we have a vector OR expressed in xi plus yj, uh, the vectors OR, okay? So this is a vector in Chartesian plane. Okay, so our OR is equal to, uh, because this point is at uh, 3, 4, so therefore uh, we move 3 unit to the right and then 4 unit up. So therefore, our OR is equal to 3i plus 4j. Okay, uh, question B. Uh, they would like us to find the unit vector in the directions of OR. So we know that unit vector is equal to the vector divided by the magnitude of the vector. Okay, so let's find uh, magnitudes of OR. The magnitude of OR is equal to square root of 3 square plus 4 square. Yeah, because uh, magnitude is the length and we use Pythagoras theorems, then we find that the length is equal to uh, square root of 3 square plus 4 square. And uh, this is equal to 5 units. Yeah, five units. So therefore, our unit vector is equal to 3i plus 4j and then divided by five units. Uh, so this is equal to 3 over 5i plus 4 over 5j. Or we can write this in decimal. This is equal to 0.6i plus 0.8j. Now let's use our calculators to check to see whether our answer is correct or not. Okay, in our calculators, when you go to this uh, menu, okay, then we move to the right and then we will see vector. Yep, so a vector is in mode number five. Okay, so let's choose five. And then uh, first they would like us to define our vector. Our vector is 3i plus 4j, and I would like to define it in uh, vector a. So I choose a, and then they ask us uh, what's the dimensions. Uh, so I have three and four, this is two dimensions. So uh, two, okay, then they ask us uh, what is our vector. Our vector is three and four. So three equal, four equal. Okay, so now we have defined our vector. So let's clear the vector, uh, clear the screen, okay? So after you clear the screen, then they will tell us that, hey, we are in a vector calculations here. How to perform the calculation? We go to options, uh, options. And then here they ask us whether we would like to define a vectors or whether we would like to edit a vector or we would like to insert. 
this is a vector a b c d into the calculations uh, this is not what we want so we move to the next screen uh, next screen we can see that okay we have this uh, vector answer dot product angle and unit vector so this is what we want okay so we would like to calculate unit vector so we go to four okay they ask us unit vectors of what and just now we have defined vector a right so we say unit vector of our vector a so vector a is in uh, key number three so okay unit vectors of vector a and then we close bracket and press equal okay so this is the unit vector for vector a and vector a is 3i plus 4j yeah? so the unit vector is 0 0.6 0 0.8 so uh, which is equal to our answer our answer is also 0 0.6 and 0. 8 for i and j so therefore uh, this answer is correct so this is how we use uh, the casual fx 570 ex calculators uh, to find the unit vector uh, this is mainly for us to check the answer addition of vector vector addition is the process of adding two or more vectors together to produce a new vector that represents their combined effect to add two vectors together you simply add their corresponding components. For example, consider two vectors, 2, 3, and 3, negative 5. To add them together, we add their corresponding components. The x component is 2 plus 3 equal to 5, whereas the y component is 3 plus negative 5 equal to negative 2. So the result of adding vectors a and b is the new vectors with components 5 and negative 2. So now let's see this question. This is another past exam question, 2011, paper 1, question 16. Diagram 16 shows a parallelogram ODEF drawn on a Chartesian plane. Uh, so this is uh, the parallelogram. Okay, so we have two vectors, OD and uh, DE. It is given that OD equal to 3i plus 2j. Let's write this down. Huh? Okay, so OD equal to... 3i plus 2j and de equal to negative 5i plus 3j so de equal to negative 5i plus 3j and they would like us to find df df okay so from a diagram we can see that df df is from d to f is equal to de ef so de ef so let's write down so df equal to de plus ef uh, de is given de is equal to negative 5i plus 3j so let's write negative 5i plus 3j and then how about ef ef is not given but this is a parallelogram so ef is equal to do yeah? ef equals to do and do equals to negative od yeah? so negative od uh, negative od let's write uh, negative 3i minus 2j okay yeah? so negative od is the negative of uh, the 3 and 2 uh, for i and j so uh, let's perform the additions of vector additions of vector we add uh, i to i yeah? so negative 5i plus negative 3i so that is equals to negative 8i and then 3j plus negative 2j which is equals to j so this is the vector df yep so and this is also how we perform the additions of vector